hello guys welcome back to my channel and now in today's video we are going to learn how to use the latest gemini 2.5 api in our node.js code so google recently released a new model of the gemini ai which is 2 gemini 2.5 so it is one of the best models out there like it has been uh, it has broken all the records like it beats every other ai model from every other company it beats Ch gpt 4.1 it beats deep seek so it's one of the like it's the best model out there right now so we are going to use that in node.js so i'm here in google ai studio now here i can uh, you can see uh, there is gemini 2.0 which is the previous version and there is 2.5 so i'm going to use the latest gemini 2.5 flash preview which is on 520 so th this is the one i'm going to use so for that first go to google C cloud console and then just create a new project here and i have already created one which is gemini test 2025 and once you create the project there then come to the ai studio and then go to the dashboard of ai studio and just click on create api key and now select the google cloud google cloud project which you have created so i'm going to select this gemini test 2025 and just click on create api key so this api key will help us interact with the google gemini api so we'll just copy this and we'll also open the api quick start guide so here we'll just go to javascript okay now in your code editor open up a folder and in terminal initialize a project so just type in npm init and just like gemini node.js and just click keep pressing enter and then is this okay yes now once this project has been done create a new file called as index.js because in package.json our main file is index.js so if i keep it as app.js then you have to change it here also so i'm going to rename this file to app.js now once uh, we have initialized the project we'll go to the guide and here first we need this npm package to get access to the uh, google models the gemini models so i'll just copy this and I'll go to Visual Studio Code and open up the terminal and just paste it here. So now npm install added at google slash gen ai so it would install the package. When I go to package.json you can see added at google slash gen ai. Once we have downloaded this, now what we'll do is we'll go here and just click on copy and then we'll paste this here now here you can see we are importing the google gen ai from this package and then we are creating a new ai const ai equals to new google gen ai and in this we will insert our api key which we generated in the google ai studio then we are writing a async function and in that the response is first we are going to uh, choose a model and after that in console.log in means in the terminal we would see the output so here right now the model is gemini 2.0.2 2.0 flash but we have to use 2.5 so i go to the studio and here i just uh, in the 520 i just copy this and i just paste it here and now the con default content is explain how ai works in a few words so to run this open up the terminal and just type in node app.js first these are some warnings okay there is an error okay api key not valid we didn't change the api key so we'll go to the google ai studio again and just copy this api key and paste it here now it would work and i'll open up the terminal again and just type in node app dot js and i'll make this bigger so we can see the output and it will take some time to show the output because this is the latest model and it takes some time to think and then it shows you the output and it also sometimes depends upon your internet speed 
and you can ignore this these are all warnings so you can ignore this we can't see the output but we don't have any error yeah now we can see the outputs and that output is in uh, uh, markdown format so AI learns from data to find patterns and make smart decisions or prediction now you are wondering what are these stars what are these asterisk sign so basically it makes this text bold so if I create a markdown file output dot MD and just paste this here and when I see the output you can see it's a bold text but uh, now I will edit this prompt and I'll just type in explain how AI works in detail and I'll save this and I'll run the okay, sorry, and I'll run the command again node app.js so now it would give me a detailed answer I'll just and this will take very much time because now it would generate a very detailed answer so that would take time like in the AI studio if we type in the same prompt it would first think for like 11 to 15 seconds like if I tell explain how AI works in detail and I'll just do control enter so you can see first it's thinking like it would think for at least 10 seconds and then it would give me a answer so if I hover on it see it's still thinking that it, it thought for like 10 seconds and then it gave me this whole answer now if we go to visual studio code still uh, we didn't get the answer because here I guess we get it slow but yeah we ultimately we got the answer and again it's in markdown format so if I copy this again and paste it in our I'll copy this and if I just paste it in our markdown file now we can see we get a whole detailed document about what is AI and what are the different branches of it and how does it work now if I edit the prompt and I'll just type in who is Virat Kohli and what are his stats and I'll again run the node app.js command and uh, uh, remember each AI model has a date like uh, information date now you can see Gemini 2.5 flash preview the knowledge cutoff is Jan 2025 so when you are searching for data like stats of a player stats of a active player not a retired one active player then sometimes it would give a uh, wrong information so now I am asking about Virat Kohli and his stats so there might be some information missing so let's see again I'll type in node app.js and again we'll get the answer in markdown format and we'll paste that in the output.markdown file and then we can see it properly okay it gave me the answer I'll make this big so again you can see I've copied this and in output.md okay now we have got Virat Kohli is an Indian international cricketer regardly uh, widely regarded as one of the greatest batsmen of all time so who is Virat Kohli now what are his stats so you can see like there are only 80 centuries in total but there are 83 so there are a few centuries missing there and so there might be also some runs missing so yeah and in IPL there are more than 8000 runs but see, still it's showing 7924 so, so the knowledge cutoff is Jan 2025 so this year's IPL do not count and after the Jan 2025 stats do not count so make sure uh, you don't search for stuff like uh, don't search for stuff which is continuously updating because these AI models have a cutoff date soon we'll get AI models which have the latest cutoff dates like you will have live data so if you like this video make sure you hit the like button and if you want to see more such kind of content then make sure you subscribe to my channel thanks for watching